Hey everybody, this is John from Ride Relics, and today we're going to be discussing the 18 items that I sold in November that brought in more than $100 each. A couple of these items I had to fudge with the number, so we included shipping in on the prices of these items because after uh, it's all said and done, that is part of the cost of the goods of that item that the buyer paid. So. I am an everything eBay seller. What that means is I sell everything that I can put my hands on as long as it's not illegal or immoral. So there are a lot of interesting items that I find whenever we're out on our adventures, me and Francine out looking for stuff to flip on eBay. So we're going to jump right into this video. I'm going to go to my share screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the completed eBay sales here. Let me move that down a little bit so it's not in the way and we are looking at the first item here is a Magnavox it is a DVD VCR combo this actually sold for 90 bucks plus 2771 shipping and by the time I mean I think I made a little bit of money on that shipping that was probably a little bit high so it was definitely over a hundred dollars by the time I sold it these are really good this one here if you can see up front it had the red, white, and yellow jacks, which that means it's a stereo DVD VCR player. And it's not a DVD recorder. If you find those, they are worth significantly more money. The next item that we have here is an antique 1910 lithio print. Uh, it's called Joy Buds Babies. They're little babies sitting in a tree. Uh, it is super cool and great for a nursery. It sold for a hundred dollars plus fourteen seventy one shipping. It is framed with glass. What I like to do is go out and find a lot of the TV boxes. I will put the uh, APB out to all of my people. This time of year is really great. If people get new TVs for Christmas, they always need to get rid of that TV box. And I store them, and whenever I sell an artwork, a print or something, those boxes are so invaluable for shipping. And they're, they will save you a bunch of money. You can actually buy moving boxes for TVs from a lot of the trunk rental companies or like Home Depot, your big box stores like Home Depot or Lowe's. But if you can just get them for free, you can save yourself a ton of money. This one actually was a little bit smaller. So it was a lot easier to ship, but the biggest print that I've ever shipped was 60 inches long by like 30 inches tall. It was absolutely massive. It was a mid-century modern piece, and I sold it for like 800 bucks. The next item that we have here is this Miller Lite Salutes the Philadelphia Eagles. Sold it for 200 bucks. Nice beer sign. 2254 shipping. It lit up. It was in pretty good shape. Had a couple little scuff scuffs on the surface of the uh, the logo image there you can kind of see like right here but in all uh, actuality it's a rare piece and if you're a Philadelphia Eagles fan it would look fantastic in your man cave for 200 bucks you can't go wrong the next item that we had here was a Fisher Price Loving Family Sweet Streets playset this was a little bit older I could have parted this out and made more money, but I didn't want to have to go through and sort all the furniture, and I think that it was missing uh, parts. So what I did is I just grouped it together in a lot. Remember, one of the things that I will always tell you, if you don't have, or if you have one of something, it might not be very valuable, but, but if you have a lot of that thing, typically there's some value in it. And that's the same thing with this playset. Individually, these pieces aren't really worth a ton, but when you lot it together and somebody can get a significant collection, $149.95 is pretty cheap, and I paid only 5 or 6 bucks for the whole tote of these toys, and the tote came with it. Charged $32.71 shipping. They were happy, I was happy, and uh, most of all, Francine was happy because she had $150 to pay bills with. The next item that we have here is a Carver. Uh, magnetic field power amplifier. I'm not even going to pretend that I know what in the heck this thing is used for. But what I am going to tell you is it sold for $300. And I paid something like, I had to pay up for it at auction. Somebody else kind of knew what it was. I paid $40 or $50 for it. But don't be afraid to pay up for those items. If you've got the money, don't spend your rent money trying to pay up for items. But if you've got extra money to spend, pay up for these good items. This was $40 or $50. Bucks. I think I sat on it for a month or two. And it sold for $300. This is my plan going forward. I want to sell these home run items. For me, $295 is a home run. If it's not a home run for you, 
well then what are you doing watching this channel there's got to be something better you can do with your time and money just kidding stick around but it sold for $295 uh, 296 and 2371 shipping. I plugged it in and it powered on, and that's what I put in the listing. Obviously, there was no problems because there was no return. The next item that we have here is a Hubley Antique Cast Iron Boston Terrier doorstop. I put French Bulldog, that is keyword stuffing, I guess, kind of. But I don't know. Is it a French Bulldog? Is it a Boston Terrier? It's all in the eye of the beholder. It sold for $119.95 plus $13.71 shipping. And I want to say I paid up for it at auction. I paid like 30 bucks for it. And it still sold. And I was happy. I'm pretty happy with that. I love dog stuff. Anything dog or kitty stuff, I love. And the next item here is a St. Patrick Irish statue. This thing was 18 inches tall. Had his little... A snake thumping stick there and a little three leaf uh clover and it was just an absolutely beautiful piece i don't it wasn't hand carved i don't know if it was hand carved or what but i had it listed for 250 dollars and i took an offer on it for 220 bucks now at auction nobody was really that impressed with it i think i picked it up for like 20 or 30 bucks but when i see something like this and it's made out of solid wood and it just has that look the je ne sais quoi it is definitely worth buying. I picked it up and just put a pie in the sky price on it for 250 bucks. And anything north of the 30 and south of the 250 would have pretty much been acceptable to me as long as I didn't lose money. But how cool is that? Like, let me know in the comment section below. Would you have bought that? Would you have spent 30 bucks on that statue? And if not, then why? The next item that we have here is a long story, but we bought this Catan 25th anniversary. I actually bought two of these at our local thrift store. I paid five whole dollars a piece for them. I gave one to my wife so that she could sell and use that money to make her car payment because I love her and she's prettier than me. And I sold one myself. Now, I sold mine for $119.95 and $10 shipping and handling. Long story short, I did a video about this. The customer tried to scam me, opened it up, took stuff out of it, sent it back in a wreck, and we contacted eBay, and they let us keep our money, and they refunded them, so I didn't really, I, I was like, do I put it in the video? Actually, since I got to keep my money, it was a sale for 120 bucks, so we're going to count it. If you have a problem with that, you can let me know in the comment section. The next item that we have here is this signal thing for like a tow truck or a uh, tow vehicle or whatever you need an amber light whatever you can legally use an amber light for i bought these at auction i want to say i paid somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 or 30 bucks for them i had two of them i sold one so far for 190 bucks plus 1874 shipping it is an interesting item when you see something like this typically this specialized type of equipment is very expensive get your phone out get that phone out i'm holding my phone in my hand and i'm shaking it at you get that phone out and comment these because you could definitely be passing up some big money when you see something that looks like you've never seen it before and you've been doing this a while comp it and probably pick it up and you know you can make your car payment with it the next item that we have here is another dvd vcr combo these things sell really good you can tell this one actually the difference with it it came with the manual and it came with a remote and I always keep an extra of the RCA cables so I'll, uh, I buy a lot of box lots at auction so I'll keep the RCA cables and I'll just throw them in I see some people they'll actually bundle like a blank video cassette tape to the um, to the lot and you could there's nothing wrong with that sometimes I've thrown them in for free it just is an extra gift for the person that is buying the unit. But typically, they're like me. They're people who just love movies and they just want to watch their old VCR tapes and have a DVD player so that they can watch everything in one unit and they don't have like two different units in their in their system, you know, like in their t entertainment system. So that's why I like DVD VCR players because it doesn't play Blu-rays, but you're combining two systems into one. And I just, I just, I'm a weirdo. I don't know why. I, I just like them so much more than having the unit separate, but I do. The next item that we have here is a Sony PS2. 
It sold for, I think I took a $125 offer on this. I had it originally listed at $184.95. I guess the game lots weren't that good, but this came with the original box and a bunch of accessories. All the books and the cables were still in their plastic. I was really shocked it didn't bring more, but I guess the PS2s must have really have went down in price over the past uh, couple months. I don't know. Everything seems to be going up if you go to the grocery store, but I sold it for like $125 plus $22.81. And I was pretty stoked about that price, actually, because I probably only had, you know, probably 50 bucks in the whole lot. So if I can make an extra $75, 50, 60 bucks after fees, I'm, I'm okay with that. $21.81, it didn't cost that to ship, so I even made a little money on shipping. What do you guys think about that? How do you feel about making money on shipping? Let me know below down in the comment section what you think about that. The next item that we have here is a comic book that I bought out of a comic book lot. This I paid 150 or 160 bucks for all the comic books. And this one sold for $179.95. Actually, in that comic book lot that I bought, I had a first appearance of Deadpool that sold for uh, I think I got like 400 bucks out of it. And I just thumbed through them and I said, no, I'll do 150. I thought they were all just fodder. I there was probably 400 books there and if I could get them for 150 I was going to put a dollar piece on them and stick them in my booth But once I started digging through them I realized there was some really good stuff here and what was special about this one is the title says it was the first appearance of Michonne and They're getting ready to come out with a new movie with Michonne and Rick from The Walking Dead So it will be a good pickup for this person to probably send off and get graded and try to flip and make a little bit of money When that TV series comes out. I love comic books. They are just so freaking awesome the next item that I have here is one of these Sega Dreamcasts. It came with two controllers. It actually came with one of the little memory cards with the screen and all of the cables, cords, and accessories. It sold for $134.95. Always be on the lookout for these vintage video game consoles, especially stuff, anything like these old Sega, like the Sega CD, the Sega uh, Dreamcast, stuff like that, because they weren't super popular. I actually worked at Walmart when these came out, and the original PS1s were so much more popular than these that they just actually, like, they, I mean, they were almost giving this stuff away when it went on clearance because nobody wanted it. And now everyone wants it because... Everything that wasn't popular back then, I guess, is popular now. I don't know. Let me know down below in the comment section. Did you guys, what was you, were you a Nintendo fanboy? Were you a Sega fanboy? Um, I do love the 32-bit Sega Genesis. That's one of my favorite game consoles. I didn't have that. I was a Nintendo fanboy. My friend had a Sega fan, had a, had a Sega, he was a Sega fanboy, and I would go over to his house and play all the cool Sega games. He'd come over to my house, and we'd kick the crap out of the Koopas on Mario. Here we go. We have another DVD VCR. This one sold for 90 bucks. This is actually one of my favorite. I actually have this exact uh, DVD VCR. It's a 1080p. I love it. It really does really well with uh, VCR tapes. The only problem is, is that if you do not have a remote for this, you cannot fast forward through the DVD uh, previews and it sucks I need to buy a DVD remote for this so somebody in the comment section remind me to buy a DVD remote because I am going to forget I know I will the next item that we have here now this shirt only sold for $24.95 but if you can tell here I've sold 17 of them so this is a great example of something that you can do by having a multi quantity listing I paid I want to say five bucks a piece for these shirts and I pretty much sell them for 25 bucks a piece and we let's see here I've sold 14 of them and I think the, the reason why I sold that many is because uh, I sold seven of these at one time to one buyer so if you think about that it was almost two hundred dollars for these shirts they are original Laffy Taffy shirts from the 90s single stitch they are on that black tag if you're out and you see this best of the fruit of the loom tag that is a great tag to pick up and if you can see that they're single stitch I don't know if you can really see here what I'm talking about but you see how there's only one stitch down there around the hem and there'll be one stitch on the arm those are called single stitch shirts and they made them in the 90s and back they before they put if you look down if you're wearing a t-shirt look down now at the hem of your shirt let me know in the comment section if you're actually looking down and you'll see two stitches well that's not a single stitch so now you know what you're talking about so let's go to the next item the next item that we have here is a awesome old 
uh, Pierce Arrow tin that I bought at auction. Um, I listed it for 500 bucks, which is my dumb pie in the sky price. I ended up selling it for 275 bucks. I paid forty dollars for this at auction. I looked it up while I was there at the auction, and I knew that it sold for big money, but I wasn't sure. I couldn't find another one like this. I had it listed for a while before I took an offer on it. So you know, at the end of the day, I'm not sure if I sold it too cheap for two hundred seventy-five bucks, but I know I made money. And I always like making money. Would you have bought this? If you had seen this old rusty can at auction, let me know down below. Let me know. I want to know. John Jones, if you're watching, would you have bought this? I bet you you would have. I know you would have. Uh, but I uh, I love that old car stuff. Here's something that's pretty awesome. Uh, the next item that we have here is this vintage 1980s Van Halen poster. I bought a storage locker. Uh, probably about a year and a half ago now, almost two years ago, and that thing has just made me money. I probably made ten thousand dollars off that locker, and I sold this for a hundred and nineteen dollars plus ten dollars shipping, and that's a hundred and what thirty dollars shipped. And man, that's a piece of rock and roll history right there. And the last item that we have here is a forehead VCR that was uh. In the original box, now it wasn't in the original box, it was just, uh, I had the original box for it. And what I did is I, anytime I go to the auction and I see they have boxes there, I look through them. And if I find any kind of old electronic boxes with the packing material still in them, I take those. Uh, and because they're there, they're like, oh, you can use these for packing. And I'm like, okay, and I take it to my truck and I keep it because if you find the old VCR boxes, old stereo boxes and stuff like that, if you add, that's like that's like gold. If you add that and you actually go out and you source that like I did with this VCR, eventually found one, and put those two together, it becomes $120. So like that box probably added $40 to the price of that VCR. It was brand new, that VCR. Uh, came with the original remote if you can see here that remote was still factory sealed so when I had that box saved back in my inventory just waiting I might have held on to that box for a year but I knew I knew one day that the stars would align and that box would come in very handy and it did sold it for $120.95 and 1441 shipping so let me know is there anything on this list that you wouldn't have bought would you have bought all these items do you uh what do you buy and sell let me know in the comment section down below i really appreciate you guys for watching i hope you guys have a good day i hope you guys have a merry christmas today it should be christmas i'm going to put this out on christmas day or christmas eve and you guys thank you so much be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you want god bless and keep on digging